Hey guys, this is Solar Rack 333 with another review. And here I have the Mattel Masters of the Universe Origins Sunman. And uh, this guy's really cool. Um, I think when I first saw this figure, I was kind of iffy on it. Uh, first, I never heard of him, so I don't know who he is. Um, but then I read up on the backstory, which is actually really nice. Um, I guess way back when in the 80s. Uh, there was a mom who wanted the uh, Masters of the Universe toys to have more diversity and you know things being the way they are now you know that's kind of you know ahead of its time you know and so she actually uh, I, I don't know how she came about it but she created her own uh, figure for her son and uh, and so he was able to have his own he-man action figure that can you know play with he-man and uh, and I guess somewhere along the way uh, it, it caught on and, and I guess the this is the the I guess the result of all that you know I guess Mattel finally uh, made an origins figure on uh, on her idea so that's pretty cool uh, I'm glad that it's an original idea and not like just taking an an, uh, an established character and just race swapping it you know create new characters I think that's the way to go you know don't gender swap or race swap just create a new character and you know and, and it'll probably be well received this guy's cool <laughs> um, now I'm also trying to picture how I would have received this figure back then um, you know I think I was six years old when Masters of the Universe came out and I loved it I had some He-Man toys um, I think I would have liked this yeah I wouldn't have cared that it's a black character you know um, I thought if it if the character was cool I liked it and I think this character does look cool um, and then I'm kind of picturing what if he showed up in the cartoon? Um, would he have been a recurring character or a one-off character? I, I kind of feel like he would have been a one-off character. Um, I pictured the episode going, um, like this, like, uh, He-Man is, uh, called Halfway Around Eternia to you know help or he's summoned or, or the sorceress tells him that he needs to go on the other side of the planet uh, and then uh, he runs into Sunman and uh, uh, you know Sunman's a good guy so within the filmation cartoon they they would have hit it off you know they would have teamed up but I think He-Man would have been surprised that there's another powerful you know, hero on the planet, you know, that had, you know, as powerful as he is, but with a different set of you know, abilities, you know. And so, you know, I think they would have teamed up and it would have been a cool episode. Um, I picture his voice. Uh, now, I don't know who could have done his voice back then, but if they were to do him today, I picture, I, I don't know the name of the actor, He's in the Orville. He plays the I want to the Bordis. I think is his name. The alien with the deep voice. Um, he's now Peter Griffin's boss at the brewery in Family Guy. That would be his voice. Um, you could probably say like Michael Dorn or Tony Todd or uh, uh, who's the other guy on Family Guy with the deep voice. Michael. Uh, He's also the principal in American Dad. Any deep voiced dude, but I, I, I can picture Bordis from the Orville doing his voice. Now, my only nitpick, and it's just a nitpick, is I don't like the head. You know, he looks like a child. And again, if the mother designed this figure to look like her child, that's cool. But it looks like a a kid's head on a man's body um, and so what I 
did pop the head off and gave him Clamp Champ's alternate head. And I think that looks really cool. He looks strong, powerful. Here's Clamp Champ now. The only problem now is I, I have two dudes that look alike. So this guy will have the more grinning face and he'll have the more angry face. I thought I had more you know heads with dark skin but I don't have a lot uh, now this head is obviously going to be too small but uh, scale this up and this would have been perfect I like his face I like the hair he just the head is too small for this body but I like the face I think this is a perfect face But then uh, I also saw what the original Sun Man head looked like, and he looks a little bit more serious. This, again, he looks so surprised. Looks like a child. This guy looks like he's ready to go. So I wish this head was bigger. I mean, it's a nice head. It, to me, it just looks like a child. So this is the head I'm going to use for Sun Man. I can't wait to get the multiverse version. That one looks cool. I might do some head swaps with that one. And then... Now this head swap will only work if I take this off. That's not bad. Skin tone is a little off. That looks cool though. Head just a little bit. Uh, a little bit bigger than that, but the hair kind of fills it out. I like the colors. Very bright. It's fitting since his name is Sun Man. And again, there's the cool team up team up right there. And here's a black he man. There he is, my Sun Man. I got this off Amazon and I lucked out because he was 50% off and I bought two of them. And the next day after I ordered it, it went back up to regular price. So I lucked out. So there he is, Sun Man, looking very cool. Thanks for watching.